What's good YouTube, it's Jason back here with another video. Today is gonna to be another tutorial, but this time I'm gonna do it on Final Cut Pro 10. I asked in the previous video what other tutorials you want me to do, and I thought I would do this tutorial because I did a video last week titled five spots to shoot in Toronto in one hour. That was one of my favorite videos I've uploaded so far. The editing, the montages, the b-roll that I put into this video, one of my proudest things I've done. But there was something tiny in it that I was missing that would have made the video so much better. What was missing was the cinematic editing that you see on the top part and the bottom part with the black bars that make it look like a cinematic movie. And I didn't think of this myself or discovered it on Final Cut. So I was curious on how to do this and I did a bit of research. I went on YouTube and I discovered a video from a person named Mark Webster who is a fellow Canadian and cinematographer and this video really helped me a lot. All credits go to Mark as well. He's a very talented cinematographer and I hope that this tutorial helps you as well for making a future video with b-roll montages and hopefully that makes it look more cinematic for you. So enough talking now, let's get right into this. So I'm on Final Cut Pro already. This is one of the clips I took from when I was at Bay of King in that video that I mentioned. So then what I want to do now is press B so I could cut the clips. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the top right corner of your timeline and click installed effects. And what you wanna do is type in letterbox. You drag that in to your clip. So next you wanna to go to your letterbox and you find your aspect ratio. You click 2.35 by one. That way that it looks like this with the black bars at the top and the bottom. Now what I wanna do with the first clip is instead of adding the letterbox, I wanna to go to the bottom where it says crop. Put in a keyframe, top and bottom. After you do the keyframe, you then want to go to the part of the clip where you want to transition the black bars to enter. So I want to go right here, be good. You go back to your keyframe, you keyframe the top and the bottom, and then what I will do is put 132 pixels on the top and the bottom. So when I do that, the number one spot people can go to the photo. It will slowly transition as you can see. So let's see from the beginning and see how it turned out the number one spot people for go to for photos. So that's really it guys. It was really simple, very easy to do. It takes less than 10 minutes to put that together. Granted, that's only one clip. If you want to do that for an entire video, obviously it takes longer. With that video, it took many hours to do, so it would probably take a lot longer to put all those into those clips again if I wanted to. So whenever I do another tutorial or even another travel or adventure vlog, I definitely want to add that cinematic editing into it and make it look more cinematic and make it look like a movie. So that wraps up the tutorial guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. I really appreciate it. And I love all the support that you guys have given on my recent videos. I know it helped me a lot. Leave a comment down below guys if you really enjoyed this video. I know this helped me a lot, so I hope that this helped you a lot. If you wanna see more Final Cut tutorials, also leave in the comments what you want to see. Don't forget to follow me on all socials as well. That's why I post a lot of my content there first. I really want to make more travel and adventure vlogs for you guys and really show you the behind the scenes what I do, how I do it, and how the post editing turns out. This was a really fun video to film and I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I hope you have a good day. And until next time, peace out.